Welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. This is 480 Volts. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why did you wait until the very end to do the secondary gem on Spaced Out, you know? Wouldn't it be more climactic and dramatic to do the two secret levels at the end? Well, normally it would, but uh, in the first Crash game, there was this, at the end of the game, there was this cool little stage called the Great Hall. You might remember. It would, uh, it only had clear gems, and it was every single clear gem you had collected. You could ride all of those gems and uh, get to uh, the other ending. It would take you straight to Crash's girlfriend, Tana, where we could uh, rescue her and save the day. Now, here, as you can see, is the blue gem. So we'll just take this blue gem path up here. Take us on this alternate route with some lives, that's good. Oh, we gotta time this one just right. Right now. Right now. And holy cow, there's the green gem! Which, the blue gem stopped. And that was a one-way platform. This one will take you back and forth as long as you stand on it. Oh, we got arrows. Oh boy. Yeah, remember to spin before you uh, touch, before the uh, electrical discharge hits you. And there's the yellow gem. So as you can see, this stage is kind of sort of like the Great Hall, except while that stage only had, it made, let you ride every clear gem you had ever collected, this one will let you ride every color gem that you have ever collected. It's kind of neat. And just because of that nice little touch, I figured it'd be a better way to end the game. There's our red gem. Do we get lab assistance? I think we get lab assistance. Yep, there is lab assistance. That's a perfect way to end the game. And the never-before-written purple gem. At least not in this game. I don't know why the purple gem gets, like, no love in the Crash game. It's even even Crash 3 kind of messed up the purple gem a little bit. But, uh, and there's our last, our final gem, our 42nd gem waiting for us. So let's, uh... Yep, 99%. We've got all 42 gems. Well, let's see what happens now. You know what, Crash? It's your final gem. You've earned the right. I'm gonna let you dance. Alright. You see? You have acquired all of the gems! Incredible! <laughs> Crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. Right! <laughs> the gems have that ability as well. And with them, I can destroy the Cortex Vortex forever. <laughs> Let me walk you to my completed laser installation. <laughs> Brendan O'Brien does such a great job with Embryo. I love it. All right, well, uh, well, as you can see now, we've got 100%. Let me just save real quick. And, uh... Yep, we'll save the game right here. Now, if I take the platform to the center, it will take us to Dr. Embryo's completed installation room, and we'll be able to see the ending. Uh, if I want to fight Dr. Cortex, I will. I must press the triangle button on my way up. But right now, I don't want to do that. Let's just let's go up to the end. And let's let's enjoy the ending. Would you 
like to do the honors? <laughs> like a good fireworks display to end the game. Cortex Vortex won't be bothering anybody now. Okay, so that was Crash Bandicoot 2. So my thoughts, woo! Well, the graphics are just perfect. I mean, I know they're horrible PlayStation 1 graphics, but I just love it. And I mostly love the level design, especially stages like the sewer stages and the lake stages and the stages with the pistons. Awesome. Uh, gameplay was fine. I like the, you know, the only thing I didn't really like was the jetpack stages, and I uh, also didn't like the simplicity of the final boss, but other than that, we got, uh, well, uh, to me as a kid, I always thought it was cool, the mystery of not knowing if Dr. Cortex was a good guy or a bad guy, even though now, looking back, it's pretty obvious. Music, gold. I love the soundtrack. Um, and I love, yeah, I, I, I love the soundtrack. I love that there's like three different uh, versions of many of the stage music. Like, you know, you got your normal stage music, and then you got the alternate root versions, and then the bonus room versions. That's nice. Nice little touch. Um, what else? What else? What else? I mean, it's just, it's a solid 3D platformer all the way around. I suppose the platforming itself maybe didn't, wasn't quite as good as Crash 1, but hey, it did, that was about the only thing of Crash 1 that might be better than this game. Because this game just about did everything better. I mean, with, you know, being able to save whenever you want, not have to worry about dying. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Cortex, for interrupt interrupting me with your evil laugh. And these credits are way too short, so I'm going to, uh... I'm going to not be able to talk, because it's going to warp me back to the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna just take me all the way back here. We'll uh, load our game up and, uh... Yep, 100%. Anyway, as I was saying, it's just it's a solid 3D platform all the way around. I like that you don't have to worry about dying if you uh, if you're trying to get all the gems. It's like you know, if you die, you're still you don't lose your chance of getting the gem unless it's a stage with a skull root platform. That's fine. A little bit of a no death mechanic. And that's kind of cool. Adds a little bit of a challenge. I also like the secondary gems. How uh, you know some of the stuff was I like go through the secret wall. In the eel deal. How are you supposed to know that? And uh, some of this stuff, I'm like, how did they expect us kids to figure that out? I mean, jump into a pit in Unbearable? Come on now. Who does that? That's kind of neat. And um, I'm proud that I found all of that stuff as a, as a, as a kid. Uh, most of that stuff. Me and my, like I said, me and my sister and my brother. My brother was the one who came up with the purple gem. He actually figured out the purple gem and behaving. And he also was the one who figured out the time limit crap in Hang 8 and Plant Food. And then most of it was me. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but most of it was me. And I just, I feel proud to say that because nowadays, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you just look up on the internet. And I didn't do that back in the day. I didn't have the internet back in the day. So it's kind of nice. I'm kind of proud to say I was able to do all that by myself, pretty much. Anyway, that's none of your interest. So <laughs> thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been fun. We got Crash 3 coming up after Mega Man X3. Eh, not really, well, you know. Mega Man X3, I'll get that done, and then Crash 3 will be awesome, so. Until then, I am 480 Volts. Join me in my next Let's Play Mega Man X3. Crash Bandicoot 2, you are an awesome game. <laughs>